In this question, you are asked to find limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 by root of 4n square minus 1 plus 1 by root of 4n square minus 4 plus so on up to 1 by root of 3n square plus 2n minus 1. So first let us try to understand the summation. So let us try to express the summation in terms of sigma. So this is limit n tends to infinity, if you try to find the pattern here, that is if you try to write all these terms in a sample pattern. So 1 by 2n can be written as root of 4n square minus 0 square, 4n square minus 0 square is 4n square, root of 4n square is 2 plus 1 by root of 4n square minus 1 square plus 1 by root of 4 n square minus 2 square plus so on up to 1 by root of. So what can you express the last term as? If you carefully observe the last term this is equal to. So I will try to express this in the same pattern. So that is 4 n square minus of something square. So what is this term? This is nothing but 4 n square minus n minus 1 whole square. Just try to see whether these two are same or not. 4n square minus n square becomes 3n square. You get a minus 2n from this, minus of minus 2n is plus 2n. You get a plus 1 here, minus of plus 1 is minus 1. So I have expressed each and every term in the same pattern. Now I can express this as a sigma, sigma 1 by the root of 4 n square minus r square. r is going from 0 to n minus 1. Now if I have to convert this into a definite integral, I need to have a 1 by an outside and an r by n in within sigma. So if I take a 1 by an outside that is limit n tends to infinity 1 by n times sigma r is equal to 0 to n minus 1, 1 by root of so if I take an n outside, from the square root n square comes out, 4 minus of r square by n square. So now you have a 1 by n outside and this term is completely made of r by n. This is nothing but r by n whole square. So this can be written as integration 0 to 1, 1 by root of 4 minus x square and dx. So what is the integration of this? Sin inverse of x by 2 going from 0 to 1. That is equal to sin inverse of 1 by 2 which is pi by 6 minus sin inverse of 0 is 0. So the answer is pi by 6.